DVD, Roku, and Fire Stick. Just search WRCV and download our free app to watch news, weather, and information. We are just a couple of weeks away from Christmas, and this morning we're going to do some Christmas shopping for you, courtesy of our good friend Melissa Lale at the Chattanooga Market, now the Holiday Market. Good to see you, Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, great to, great to be here. It's a fun job. So uh, you make it so much easier for people because uh, even with COVID, I know you have uh, this di distancing going on at the convention center and uh, vendors are not quite so jammed together like they have been in the past, but it's a big place and it can be hard to find what you're looking for. So you kind of do the shopping for us this time of year with a few of your favorite things. Well, it is. It's fun to do because every time I go, and of course I'm going every day that we're open, I'm finding something new that I can't wait to share. So it has, it has been a lot of fun. So I think it's fair to say that where we're going to start is a great gift idea for the men on your list. And even though they say they're not hard to buy for, they are very difficult to buy for. So who oh, are yeah. we seeing? So this is Mark Markham, and he hand makes all of these wooden toys every year. And I have never seen toys for adults like that one, but I just thought that was a scream. I loved it. Um, of course, he has millions, well, not millions, <laughs> a lot of kids' toys. But um, those, those that carry the dad's favorite cocktail, I thought were a lot of fun. And these are pieces that will last, you know, to, uh, for generations to come. Absolutely. Okay, now who is this we're seeing? So this is Kettle Creek, and they do these really fun signs of all sorts. This flag I thought was really fun. They um, have signs for your home or for your patio area, great home decor. And um, they also do some house plants, as you see there in um, some pretty you know glass lanterns so a lot of different house decor type items it's great a great gift to give yourself that's really pretty and that's something you can enjoy then when all the christmas is undone at your house and you're looking for something to put up and still be pretty exactly yeah i really like their things now who is the jewelry we're seeing that's lovely <laughs> Yeah, so this is called Art Jewels, and they only come to the holiday market for obvious reasons. Um, and I have brought them on and chosen their products before simply because they are so unique. They're handmade. They're like little ceramic painted um, pieces, jewelry, whether it be a necklace or earrings. Great gifts for, um, you know, moms, health care workers, teachers. This is a, an easy, inexpensive way to show that you care to someone in your life. Really, really fun. Very pretty. Yeah. Yes, they were, they're beautiful. Now, I think you've got something fun. Here it is for the kids out there. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, so um, these are, I, I believe what I'm seeing is Miss Little Miss Fancy Pants. Um, and these are hand-painted um, plates and platters and mugs and um, there and there's things that are non-holiday oriented like this and they have also I will tell you we were entertained for a good 30 minutes they have some coasters and some mugs that I don't have there but that have the most hilarious sayings on them we were laughing out loud for like I said for 30 minutes so that is so fun Yes, so, Little Miss Fancy Pants. Little Miss Fancy Pants. Little Miss Fancy Paints. I'm sorry, Paints. Oh, that does make more sense. Yes, Little Miss yes, Fancy yes. Paints. Okay. So I mentioned COVID, uh, Melissa, and the, the need to distance. In years past, you've just had vendors galore at the holiday yeah. market. Have you had to limit them this year, or are you just spread out in a different way? You know, we are just spread out. Truthfully, we have always been spread out. The convention center is massive. The ceilings are soaring. The uh, airflow in there is very safe. So you can, masks are absolutely required by vendors and you know, customers, right, when you walk in the outs from outside to inside the convention center. So you can feel very safe when you come and shop with us. Our feedback from last weekend, which was our first weekend to be open, was, wow, you guys really pulled it off. Everybody is feeling super safe. So we, we go on this weekend. And on Saturday, this mm -hmm. Saturday, we're going to have the Lodge Bake Off. And it will be, you know, we haven't had our other Bake Offs or our other cooking events uh, this season, of course, because of COVID. So we figured out a way to safely do it again in this massive space where we have stations that are far apart, where four chefs 
masked up are going to bake for you on Lodge's new bakeware. So oh. it'll be something to be to be seen for sure. And there won't be any need to gather and watch because we're going to have big screen TVs where you can watch them from far away. That's perfect. And is there a concern, because I know you have this weekend and then the weekend following, and then that's it. Uh, is right. there a concern about not shopping early and inventory running out, or do the vendors typically know how to budget and plan for each weekend? They are super smart. They do okay. not bring it all out the first weekend. They hold back. And, you know, by Sunday, the past Sunday, there were a few, they were, you know, a few vendors were, they might have, you know, one that comes to mind is um, the fellow who makes toffee, and he was out of one variety, and I said, well, will you have it next weekend? And he said, absolutely. So no need to worry about that. Well, that is good because in so many other ways of shopping this Christmas season, that's not been the case, right? Inventory seems to be down uh, in a lot of places. So that's good to know that you can be the late shopper the weekend of the 18th and 19th and uh, still find something to put under the tree. Absolutely. That's usually one of our best weekends. All right, Melissa, always good to see you. And that means we'll have a chance to catch you next week for more of your favorite picks. But in the meantime, if you want to go to the Chattanooga Market's website, chattanoogamarket.com, you can learn more. But the cast iron, cast iron cook off again happening this Saturday. The market runs through the weekend of the 19th and 20th. We're back after this. Don't look good. Yeah, it looks like it's both. Just what I don't need. This is what you do need. Complete the application within minutes, and if approved, you may get the money you need as soon as the...